Hello everyone. In this tutorial on GUI 3.0, I'm going to cover how to create uh, your own scroll views. Now in this uh, project, I have NGUI imported with all the examples, and I currently have the seventh example open. Now if you can actually understand it as is, great, but if not, let me explain it for you. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a prefab out of a single item, just so I don't have to recreate it from scratch. I'm then going to completely delete the scrollable panel as well as the checkbox that referenced it. Okay, now we have a clean slate. Let's start over. Let us start by first adding a new object called grid. And I'm gonna attach the grid script to it as well. Now I can actually instantiate a bunch of children there and then if I hit reposition, they will be arranged in a grid formation. Of course, I can adjust the cell width, say 160. Let's try this again. Yep. And if I need to, I mean, I can change the direction, but I'm not going to do that. For example, it is. Let me just duplicate this item a couple more times. Say, just by using the control D couple of times grid position everything so there this is going to be our scrollable content of course right now if you hit play not much is going to happen it's just going to look exactly like it does right now so let's change that in order to scroll something inside a panel you first need to have a panel so I'm going to add a new panel I'm just going to call it scroll view I'm going to add a UI panel script to it and I'm going to specify clipping. I'm going to say alpha clip, oh, better yet, I'm just going to make it soft clip instead. I'm also going to specify a size, 700, seems to be about right. Uh, for the Y, doesn't really matter, but let's say 260. Now then, I'm going to position it as well. So I want it to be right here. Okay. Now I'm just gonna parent the grid to it. And you'll notice that it instantly got clipped. The softness of the clipping is actually uh, set on a panel itself. So for example, if I did not like it being that soft, I can specify something less soft, like this, for example. Okay. Next, we need to make it draggable. For that, I need to attach draggable panel script to the scroll view panel that we just created. Now, the only important thing to know right now is this scale right here. Scale is what controls how you can drag this panel. In this case, we only want to drag horizontal, which means that we should only leave the X at uh, 1. 1 means full strength. Z and Y, just set them both to 0. Now that we've done that, let's select one of the items we instantiated and add drag panel, panel contents to it. This is what makes it possible to drag the item. I'm gonna hit apply so that this change actually applies to every single one of these items. And let's see what happens when we hit play and try to drag. Nothing. Now at this point, the easiest way to determine what's wrong is to actually select the main UI camera that you have and enable debugging on it. Now hit play again and hover over something. You'll notice that the last hit happens to be the outline component or game object which is not the item so let's figure out where that is outline so here the outline happens to have a, a, a box collider on it which intercepts all the events which is not ideal 
Let's push it back a bit so it doesn't do that anymore. Hit play again. And it works fine. You can actually scroll the contents. Of course, if you happen to hit play and drag on the panel itself rather than the item or in between of items, nothing is going to happen. That's because this collider gets the event and drag panel content script on it either doesn't exist or in this case it's not referencing anything. So we can just drag and drop the scroll view, drag a little panel to it and try it again. Now it works fine. Last thing you'll probably want to do is uh, to use the scroll bar as well. Well, you can actually do it on the scroll view itself. You can see that it's referenced in our horizontal scroll bar and a vertical scroll bar. So let's just go ahead and do that. For the horizontal scroll bar, just reference it. Then hit play. And you can actually use the scroll bar to control the scroll view as well. One other thing you might notice is when you actually hit play, the contents shift a little bit. Well, that happens because the panel always tries to keep the content uh, fitting correctly. And in this case, the content is actually off to the right of the edge, which is why the panel sees it and is like, oh, okay, let me just adjust it for you. There's two ways to fix it. The obvious way would be to move the grid itself, well, the contents of the panel, so that they're closer to the edge where they should be and when you hit play it's not going to shift anymore or the shifting is not going to be noticeable. Another way to do it would be to simply click this reposition clipping checkbox and it will adjust the rectangle for you. Now where the clipping is actually positioned depends on this parameter here relative position and reset. So 0, 0 means top left corner, 1, 1 means bottom right corner. So if I was to zoom out and choose 1, 1 here, for example, and then hit reposition clipping, you'll notice that it is now using the bottom right corner of the contents to position the clipping. So in order to position it uh, properly, I'm going to use the left side in this case, and I'm also going to specify 0.5 along the Y. So now when I hit the reposition clipping, it's going to be centered vertically and uh, anchored to the left side of the content. Now if I hit play, it's not going to shift visually and it'll still allow me to do whatever I want with it. I hope this helps guys, that's all there is to it.